Life is precious, and we all have the opportunity of living it to the fullest. Unfortunately, so few of us know how to manage it all. How do we account for our opportunities? How do we account for our time? How do we account for our relationships, health, spirituality, homes, finances, influence, and careers? How do we account for the one life we have to live? I am so glad you asked. In this program, you will find answers to all of these questions and more. Welcome to the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. What's happening? And welcome back to another episode today, Un Unlocking the Power of Visualization. We're going to, man, we're going to just kind of take ourselves into the moment, into the moments of the things that we see so we can say, wait a second, what is the process? How can I really do this? You know, how can I visualize these things and then actually get it today? That's what we're going to be talking about. So let's jump right into this. For everything that we do here in the podcast, I'm always I'm always looking for ways to, um, you know, to correlate it with what's already been said. Like what's what has already been said about this stuff? Like because I don't I don't think anybody has to create new content. You know, so I go to the Bible. I go and look up. Hey, where's all the vision? What's everything about vision? I'm looking up in the dictionary. Where's vision? What is vis what is visualization? You know, what is power? What is unlocking? And. Every word, I want you to think about this. Every word that we use has a meaning. Every word that we speak is going to is going to manifest something. Yeah, did you catch that? Every word that we're going to speak is going to manifest something. Every word that we think means something. So if we don't understand words, then it's possible that we could bring something to pass that we don't want. So what is visualization? The practice of imagining <laughs> what you want to achieve in the future. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. And, and, and so I'll say this. I, will, I was listening to one of my guys, um, E.T., the hip hop preacher. I've been listening to a bunch of his stu stuff lately. And he says people will call him up. And folks would be complaining about, they'd be complaining about the husband and wives. They, they, they complain about, he says, look, I'm going to hang up on you because you, you cannot call me and complain. You're not going to be manifesting the things that you don't want with me. And so when I heard him say that, I says, yo, that is so good. So because I feel the same way, why would we complain about something? Because the complaining, I'm not saying that you couldn't like, have a bad experience, be like, oh my goodness. But then you gotta you gotta jump out of it fast. Because if we complain about something, then we have to get it. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's right at the very beginning. When when God introduces himself to you and me, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He introduces himself. That could have been the whole chapter. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. If he just left it right there, it'd be like, wow, that's what he did. Then he said, you know what? If you didn't understand that, let me tell you how what I did and how I did, how long it took me. Then he had the nerve to get to the point where he says, you know what? After, after we brought forth all these things out of the earth, out of the waters, out of the firmament, now we, he never said we. He didn't say we until he was ready to create me. <laughs> he, he, he didn't say we until he was ready to create me. He says, let us, let us make man, let us make a being after our likeness. We're going to get to the power of visualization. Visualization today, you're going to walk away and you're going to like, oh my goodness, I can visualize and I can get it. Let us make man in our likeness. Let us make man in our image. What is his image? All right, this is the problem. I used to think God looked like me. I used to think that God walked like me. I used to think God put, you know, had an image like me, a physical representation. God does not have a physical representation. God is not a man. God can live in a man, but God is not a man. So let's first get the picture of a man or a woman off the table. That is not the image. What image should we have? 
we get into visualization, we're going to unlock this power of visualization today. Why? Because I know I needed it. So I'm here to talk to you about what I need. If you don't need it, great. I need it. God's image is not a man. So if God's image is not a man, then what is his image? Let's look. In Genesis, I'm not going to open it up. All you got to do is go to Genesis chapter 1. That's it. Genesis chapter 1, read the whole chapter and read it over and over until you understand it. <laughs> until, you, until you can walk away saying to yourself, oh my goodness, now I, now I get it. Now I understand it. But don't go to any other chapter until you understand Genesis chapter 1. But there's a phrase, there's a phrase that he said every time he wanted to do something. You know what the phrase is? Let there be. Let there be. Let there be light. <laughs> let there be light. He brought light just by saying, let there be light. Just let it happen. Let's let's bring forth, let's bring forth herb bearing fruits out of the ground. Let's bring forth. So it's let there be, let's bring forth, let's bring out of the waters, let's bring out of the ground the animals. He's saying, let there be whatever it was, let it be, just let it happen. See, the one thing that's missed, and he didn't really have to miss it. But if I'm sitting here being pragmatic, I would say that, man, he didn't say he ever visualized. He didn't say he didn't say he visualized. But here's the thing. I can find it in the scripture where he tells you that you got to start thinking. Joshua 1, 8. Keep the book of the law in your mouth. Talk about it. Meditate on the law. Day and night, think about it every day. Think about it. So he's saying for us, we got a problem. We got to first talk good. We got to talk the good. This is what's going to help us in the visualization process. Because when you form a word, think about what a word is. A word is a description of something. A word is a description. And because a word is a description of something, once you hear what it's, once you hear what you said, then you go to start thinking. Then you can think about an image of what that thing is. Now we're visualizing. I visualize I wanted a car for my wife. But in order to visualize I wanted a car for my wife, I had to see the car. I had to first see it. Then I said, I want to get the car for her. I want to get the car for her. I want to get the car for her. Yes, honey, this is what I was. I really want to buy a car for my wife. I really want to do it. I don't know that I'll be able to, but I really want to. I really want. And I kept seeing cars. I was seeing cars, seeing cars, seeing cars, seeing cars. And, you know, so one day came, you know, I saw the car and then it was gone. Oh, man. It was already her birthday's coming up. Her birthday was coming up. I was like, man, it's like that. May not be able to get it, but you know what? You know what? I think, this is what I said, I think that if I'm going to get this car, if I'm going to get this car, it's going to be it's going to be available to me. I said that. I said that out loud, and then I thought about it over and over and over. And then one night I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to check tomorrow. I think the car is going to be there tomorrow. That's what I did, and I went to sleep, and I was thinking about it. And I woke up the next morning, I checked, and the car was there, and I got the car. So God did not tell us that he visualized. God did not tell us he ever thought anything about creating anything because he didn't have to. Because he says, well, if they get this part and they keep following everything in my book, in my law, they will find where they need to start thinking so that they can develop. Because remember, remember. We're talking about unlocking the power of visualization. That's what we're talking about. So if we're talking about unlocking the power of visualization, then what that means is that we have to unlock this power by doing something. What is unlock? What is unlock? Unlock. I looked it up. Unlock. <laughs> it's to undo. Unlock is to undo. 
Unlock is to undo. That's what it means. Unlock is to undo. Using a key. So you telling me, Jay, we have to unlock ourselves. You have to unlock yourself. Here's the thing. Right now you're locked up. Most of us are locked up because, because we've been experiencing life. And life, life does not give you, does not automatically give you what you want. You have to visualize it. So if we unlock <clears throat> by undoing the all that we gotta undo. So so let's think about this. I'm gonna let you go in just a second. Unlock. We have to undo all, we have to unravel all the stuff that's already happened. I have to unravel it because we already have a thought process. We don't know how to visualize the things that we want. We tend to visualize the things that we don't want and we keep getting them. So we got to undo, unravel, unravel. How do you do that? How do you unravel? How do you undo that process? Here's how you undo it. <laughs> I talked about Mr. Beast this week and his four friends. You got to get around the right people. You got to get around the right information. If you have no friends, go read a book. Go listen to a book. Go watch a really good YouTube video on stuff you need to know about. Go watch more of these podcasts over and over and over and over and over. And you will discover how to unlock your ability, which is power. That's what power is. Power is the ability to do something. You already have this ability to visualize. God says, let there be light. He's telling you, you have the ability to create. All you have to do is think about it. All you have to do is think about it. And in thinking, remember what, remember that ING, when we use ING, that means we're using a process. There's a process for something. So if there's a process for something, if there's a process to unlock, then that means you got to sit your butt down. Sit down. Yep, me too. I'm talking to myself. Sit down so that you can experience what you want. How do you experience, experience what you want? Talk about it, think about it, create an image of it. We create an image of it. Once we got the image, that's when we can unlock the power of visualization. So today, this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna let you go in just a second. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get an image of something that you want. Just one image, one image. It could be a car, it could be, it could, it could be anything. And it has to be an image. There has to be an image of it. So you get an image of it. And I want you to just keep visualizing it over and over and over. I want you to come back to the podcast and let us know that you actually, that you got it. Like I said, you have to create an image. You have to talk about it. You have to think about it. Talk about it. Think about it. Talk about it. Think about it. And in some cases, you might have to do something, but talk about it. Think about it. It's going to run you into action to do something. That's the process. That's how you're going to unlock the power of visualization by Getting an image, get the image first, talk about the image, think about the image. Something miraculous is going to happen. All of a sudden, you're going to do something. And then one day, you're going to wake up and you're going to have a car. You're like, man, the car came. How did I get that? One day, you're going to wake up and you're going to have a house. One day, you're going to wake up and your business is just going to be flourishing. One day, you're going to wake up and you're going to be stroking big checks to, you know, the causes that you want to give and give to. And one day you're going to wake up and all these beautiful things are going to happen in your life. Maybe you want to get married. And one day you're going to have the, the, the best husband, the best wife that you ever thought about. One day. Unlock the power by talking, image, think, do. And we'll get there together. All right, guys, I got to jump. God bless you. I will see you on the next episode. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe to the podcast. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. God bless. Peace us listening friends we are so glad you invested this time with us always remember you only have one life to live so live it to the fullest this has been the account for your life podcast with your host the healthy accountant himself jay moore until next time make it a great day